Edward Snowden says COVID-19 could give governments invasive new data collection powers that could last long after the pandemic. Here's a summary of the article. Edward Snowden, the man who exposed the breadth of spying at the U.S.'s National Security Agency, has warned that an uptick in surveillance amid the coronavirus crisis could lead to long-lasting effects on civil liberties. During a video conference interview for the Copenhagen Documentary Film Festival, Snowden said that, theoretically, new powers introduced by states to combat the coronavirus outbreak could remain in place after the crisis has subsided. Fear of the virus and its spread could mean governments send an order to every fitness tracker that can get something like pulse or heart rate and demand access to that data, Snowden said. Five years later the coronavirus is gone, this start is still available to them, they start looking for new things, Snowden said. While no reports appear to have surfaced so far of states demanding access to health data from wearables like the Apple Watch, many countries are fast introducing new methods of surveillance to better understand and curb the spread of the coronavirus. South Korea has been sending text alerts to warn people when they may have been in contact with a coronavirus patient, including personal details like age and gender. Singapore is using a smartphone app to monitor the spread of the coronavirus by tracking people who may have been exposed. This post received a score of 65,372, with an upvote ratio of 84%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Could LMAO. In the UK, they brought through legislation a couple weeks ago that makes it so all new government powers brought in have to be reassessed in six months by law, with the Scottish Government, Welsh Government, Northern Ireland Executive, and the UK Government all having to agree to it. If they extend it, it will be reassessed every six months edit, the legislation can't be extended longer than two years, so they can't just keep extending it. This is how these kind of laws must be implemented. Otherwise it will clearly stay in place. They just always vote to extend it. But the option is still there. New government, media pressure, etc. can end it much easier than if it doesn't have to be revoted. Removing a permanent law is much harder than voting against renewing. I can't hear you over the sound of the Patriot Act being de facto eternal. God damn, that hit me right in my star-spangled feels. A portion of Freedom Fries will sort you out. That will just hit you in the heart latter. Never waste a good crisis. Heard this on Ozark about an hour ago. This show is spectacular. I hope more people check it out. According to Netflix, between 11 to 16 million people watch Ozark. It's not exactly flying under the radar. We are going to see what people are okay with and if people are going to fight back against governments and surveillance after this epidemic passes world could change from this and not in a good way. We have been fighting back against the over at the R mass move sub. They are busy setting up domains posing as fake local journals, their shit looks really real, until you start looking at all the articles at once, we have now discovered over 1,000 domains running fake local journals. Twitter released its first dataset of the decade this month of a state-run disinformation operation. I, where Russian operatives outsourced their disinformation campaigns to Ghana and Nigeria, focused on racial issues in the U.S. ahead of the presidential election. The interesting thing is that although they posted 42,476 tweets, many of them with hundreds of retweets, likes, and quotes, they only operated 71 Twitter accounts. But Trump's local journals have hundreds of Facebook pages and hundreds of Twitter accounts that I believe we can have removed and popped into the Twitter transparency report if we make enough noise. What are some good sources to learn cybersecurity? It's becoming more and more evident that the next major conflicts are going to heavily involve digital warfare. I'm working on my coding at the moment but unsure where to go from there. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.